Hello, my name is David Manning, and welcome to this installment of the Plant 3D with the Experts vlog. Today, we're going to talk in brief about the AutoCAD Plant 3D integration with Autodesk Vault. If you'd like to see a full and detailed description on the topic, I recommend this Autodesk University class, AutoCAD Plant 3D Collaboration with Vault, Getting Started and Best Practices. We'll provide a link in the bottom of the description, but there's also a link on the page you can see ahead of you. So why would you be interested in integrating Plant 3D with Autodesk Vault? Well, to start with, it becomes a single source of truth for all resources. Vault has the ability to store many different file formats, not just DWGs. This means you can store your manufacturing data, your AutoCAD Plant 3D, your AutoCAD files, as well as even Microsoft Office files. It also adds on file versioning, allowing you to step back through history and manage the files if you need to. You can also incorporate and manage the revision history within the Vault environment and within Plant 3D. There is the capability for multi-site collaboration, and that can be done over multiple, many sites, not just one or two. We get adds in the check-in and check-out function of file management, allowing you greater control and visibility of who's editing what and when. And has a significantly improved user experience, as there's a localized working cache for the users, which means that they're working on local versions of the files, and that is then removing any LAN or WAN latencies. Vault is one of Autodesk's product data management solutions, otherwise known as PDM. PDM is simply a strategy for managing your product-related information and engineering processes, all in one spot. And while your network drive may be one spot, it's unlikely that it's truly managed, and Vault will give you a lot more functionality. Autodesk collaboration and data management is found in the manufacturing industry. And thus, the main business remains there. But since collaboration and data management is needed in all industries, and all industries face these common business drivers, we're also delivering more and more integration in the AEC, the ENI, and the m and &E space. And with that comes decades of accumulated expertise and experience. Keep in mind, however, that not all features of a Vault are supported in Plant 3D. Okay, so what does a plant with Autodesk Vault set up look like? In this basic setup, in Office A, we've got a Plant 3D SQL server and an Autodesk Vault server, two separate systems where the users can connect to that. This provides all the advantages of security and data management in its most basic form by replacing a network storage drive location with Vault. In addition, users in remote offices, in this case remote office B, can expect to find potentially significant performance improvements when working due to locally stored files. That is files stored in the local working cache. However, communication with the database will still be uh, potentially slower across the WAN. Uh, if you're going to truly uh, move to a multi-office situation and you have users that are struggling with performance across the WAN, this is an alternative option for a Vault and Plant 3D setup. So when work network performance means that opening files become slow and basically unmanageable, the Vault server can be replicated to a server more local to the users. That's in this case, Office B. It is not possible to replicate the Plant 3D database and generally isn't required because the data volume required to be communicated with the server is minimal compared to the size of design files. The two Vault servers are now maintained in synchronization and note that there will always be one master Vault server. This is ideal, uh, sorry, ideally located to the primary Vault systems manager, so the person managing that, and to the Plant 3D database. Because Plant 3D uses an external database, the architecture for Vault integration is a little different and has to take into account this external database. 
To do this, we have the concept of a local workspace folder for each user. This workspace is the replication of the Plant 3D project stored in the Vault server and all the project files required for a user to work on the project. They are copied onto the local computer for each project user. The folder structure on the working folder is the same as it is for a non-Vault project. It is because of this local set of files that a user will likely experience an improvement in performance while modeling. Now, no drawings are actually copied to the local working folder until they are called by the user. When they are required, the system will automatically take a copy from a, to the local workspace, and when checked in, it will synchronize the changes in the DWG and the database back to the servers, and ultimately, all other users. This graphic indicates a single user's view of the workflow. All project files are traditionally stored in the network relation, are now stored and synchronized by Vault in the lo user's local workstation. Inside Vault, users' permissions are extremely important. This is an example of permissions required by Plant 3D project teams. As a team, you need to decide what level of trust and therefore access you are going to allow users to have. Vault revision control can be used to automate the control of drawing revision cycles. In the Plant 3D ribbon, in the Vault section, you may have noticed a revision button. This button talks to Autodesk Vault to increase the revision of the drawing in the Vault system using the Vault revision rules. This is, does not necessarily change the revision on the drawing title block, but it can certainly be configured to automate that as well as many other fields. Vault life cycles cannot be managed from within Plant 3D and as such are not supported. However, any of the associated security policies are still applied by Vault and experienced by Plant 3D users. Autodesk Vault has a reporting function in much the same way Plant 3D does reporting. Leveraging this intuitive reporting dashboard can help you to provide a clear visual feedback on a project status. Okay, so how do I create a Plant 3D project in Autodesk Vault then? It's basically the same way you create every other project. It's just pointing to a different location. When you create a new project inside Plant 3D, the first window has a checkbox, Create Project in Vault. Ticking this and adding the Vault folder path is the only difference. In the Plant 3D Vault options, there is a field to change the working cache location, just in case there is any issues with the default location. Just note that the working cache should always be on the local machine and unique to that signed in user. Plant 3D projects in Vault require the use of an SQL server to support the Plant 3D database. This is typical for multi-user projects. This still needs to be specified when creating a project and is done in the same way. So what about all my existing projects I hear you say? Well, not a problem. To migrate an existing Plant 3D project into Vault, we have a tool for that. From within the Plant 3D environment, type into the command line, Plant Project to Vault. This will start the process. Please note that all files must be stored inside the Plant 3D project folder or subfolders. This is because this is how it will be stored inside Vault. And you can see that dialog on the window there, which is fairly straightforward. So once the project is inside Vault, how do I open it inside Plant 3D? In the Plant 3D project manager, you will see there is an open from Vault option. This should always be used when opening a Vault project. You can always tell a project in the project manager that is stored in Vault 
as it will have the vault project icon on the left of the project name, as you can see there in the left graphic. Now that a vault project is open, users will, users will see some subtle changes in the project manager. The icons and the display of files gives the users instantly identifiable statuses and information on the drawings. Also, if you hover over a drawing name, you can see who has checked it out. With all the design files and the documentation in Autodesk Vault, it becomes even easier to review designs. From within the organization and people who have at least read-only access to the Vault project, you can leverage tools like Navisworks, the Vault client itself, and shared views to review the designs. Let's take a quick look at what a shared view looks like from a, a Vault environment. Autodesk Vault helps you to collaborate with your team, both inside and outside your organization. Share a view of your design directly from inside Vault to create a 2D or 3D viewable of your design file, which can be reviewed with virtually any cloud connected browser or handheld device. Reviewers don't have to download or install any software to collaborate on your designs. They just need the secure web link. Reviewers can navigate, section, explode, and measure your design. All model information and structure can be shared with the reviewer. In addition, reviewers can comment and mark up on your designs, and all comments are logged and can be viewed in your Vault client. Because the focus of this workflow is work in progress feedback, the 2D and 3D viewables are temporary visualization files not your native CAD data. These temporary visualization files automatically expire unless extended by you. Autodesk Vault shared views help you to connect and collaborate with your extended design team. Ensure that your designs are correct and coordinated and support review and commenting from non-CAD users with Autodesk Vault shared views. Well, that's it for today's brief look at AutoCAD Plant 3D and Autodesk Vault integration. Don't forget, if you want to learn more about this, have a look at the Autodesk University class. Also, if you've liked what you've seen here today, you might also like the next generation collaboration solution that has a lot of the same features and potential for a lot more using the Autodesk BIM 360 cloud solution. There are a couple of videos that go through this solution in the Plant 3D with the Experts playlist as well. Uh, you should see them on screen there. As a bonus to using collaboration for Plant 3D with BIM 360, you no longer need to have an SQL server for the database or a network server for file storage, at least not for Plant 3D projects. Thank you for your time today. I hope you've received a lot of value out of this, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.